Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayala13. Today I'm going to show you how I've painted Legion's latest battle box caster, Chrissa, Conviction of Everblight. I started with a white primer. I did do a little bit of putty work to cover the gap in the back of her cloak. I base coated the metals with Iron Breaker. Then I washed the metals with a mix of Agrax Earthshade and Seraphim Sepia. I lightly dry brushed the metals with Iron Breaker to give them a little more contrast and I picked out the scale and weapon with an extra highlight. Then I washed it again with the Earthshade Sepia mix to deepen the tone. Then I finished off the metals with a highlight of Iron Breaker on the blade and the scale mail. I darkened some Dawnstone with some Abaddon Black to base coat the feathers. When that's dry I washed the feathers with Nulna Oil. I finished that up with a light dry brush of my Dawnstone Black Mix. Now I'm going to start the base with a base coat of Doom Bull Brown. I wash that with Nuln Oil and when that's dry, dry brush it with Doom Bull Brown again. Then working outwards, I dry brush Scrag Brown, followed by Zamisi Desert, until finally Screaming Skull is dry brushed just around the edges. I finished it off by painting the rim of the base black. Now I'll base coat the horns and the skull on the base with Screaming Skull mixed with a little bit of Rakarth Flesh. The higher density pigment in the base paint allows it to cover better over the darker colours and also it ties it together with my flesh tones. Next I'm going to wash the skull with Agrax Earthshade, then highlight it back with my Bone Rakarth Mix. I pick out the final highlights with Screaming Skull mixed with White Scar. I base coat the skin with Rakarth Flesh. When that's dry, I wash it with Seraphim Sepia. I paint her blighted arm spines with Scrag Brown, followed by Vinox Hide. Then wash it with Nuln Oil. I highlight the skin with Rakarth Flesh, then mix a little white in for the final highlight. I painted her lips with Cardic Flesh, then highlighted it with Midland Flesh. I didn't like the way this turned out, so I glazed the lips with a mix of Murderous Magenta and Beacon Purple. I paint the leather straps with a mix of Mournfang Brown and Rhinox Hide, then highlight with Mournfang. I base coat the cloak lining with Thamar Black, then highlight by mixing the black with Dawnstone, adding more Dawnstone for the final highlight. Then I base coat the skirt with a mix of Sanguine Base and Black. I followed that up with a highlight of Sanguine Base, mixing that with Sanguine Highlight for the final layer. It was at this point that I decided the leather straps didn't stand out enough, so I washed them with Nuln Oil. Next I highlighted the horns by adding black to the original mix of Screaming Skull and Rag Hard Flesh, adding more black as I worked towards the tips. I decided here that the weapon blended in too much with the armor, so I highlighted the weapon and belt buckles with Iron Breaker. I finished off the blade with an edge highlight of Quicksilver. Finally, I based the gemstones with Sanguine Highlight, then highlighted with Kador Red Base, followed by Kador Red Highlight. I painted a white reflection dot, and then painted the gems with gloss. I based the model with Grass Tufts and Static Grass. And here is the finished model. If you enjoyed, if you did, please like and subscribe. See you later.